Oh, great. So right now I am in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'm only spending like half a week here. So I decided to check out the Las Cruces Museum of Art. It is free admission. Um, I didn't think it would look like this because this kind of reminds me of a library, but oh, that's cute. Merp, the uh, museum is closed because they're switching over exhibits, but I'm gonna go right across the street to this Brannigan Cultural Center. Truth or Consequences in New Mexico and it's about like an hour drive away from Las Cruces. Truth or Consequences is a city that's like built on top of hot springs so that's what I'm gonna do and I think it's perfect way to de-stress and you know my back has been giving me pain from the rear end it's I have to call the uh, health insurance lady back there's so much shit I have to do, but I'm honestly just recharging right now because I, I, like Big Ben was such a huge weekend. I'm still recovering from Big Ben. Isn't that crazy? Good evening wherever you are it is Saturday April something and we are leaving Las Cruces New Mexico today we're headed to well towards Carlsbad but we're gonna do a couple of pit stops today first we're gonna go to the Las Cruces farmers market it's open Wednesday and Saturday and then the second thing we're gonna go to White Sands National Monument today I'm so so excited it's gonna be really busy uh, a busy day for me. It's not as much driving as you know some of my other days, but I am still pretty exhausted. This quadruple eyelid situation has not been resolved for about two months, so it feels really weird to blink. That's what I'll say. Also, just gotten super lazy at packing my car. That's why it looks like it looks like I got more stuff, but I really, really didn't. Um, I'm just. I've always been bad at packing. And surprisingly, eight months on the road has not made me better. I love how they just like put up music there. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Post office, I have a mail to send out to one of my friends. Ah, I love like, um, well, where's the post office? I love supporting local artists and buying their postcards and all that and then sending out to my friends. I have, I've been pretty bad at it though. Uh, for the last couple of months. I just found a bunch of cards that I wrote the cards to, but I haven't put on the addresses yet. So, <laughs> whoops. That was from five months ago. Oh. I'm slowly becoming one of those people I never thought I would be. Just like, I have a bunch of jewelry pieces now. It's kind of nice, because they all have meaning to me. Man, it used to be that uh, shopping at retail stores was a sucker for me but now it's just like all this local stuff because within the span of 30 minutes I ended up buying from three different vendors you saw the ring I have these hiking sticks which I thought was super cool I want to gift one to my dad after I finish using <laughs> it for the summer oh these dope ass earrings let me show you let me show you it's this orange that I barely see and that's the color that attracts me the most Oh yeah, 
so I'm excited to wear that. I'm probably gonna switch it out with the ones that I have right now. And these guys are from Puerto Rico. I also bought it at a market in Puerto Rico. And then the last thing that I bought is like a local form that's just starting up their business. Goat's Milk Lotion, and this is in the scent Cherry Blossom. It's named after High Rolls, New Mexico. And it smells really good. I think I'm gonna leave that one in the car because you know how sometimes you like wash your hands too much or you're traveling too much and you're um, like you just feel really dry whether it's on your hands or on your face. I always keep something in the car. The one that I have right now is from Nivea. It's a hand lotion, but I use it for my face sometimes because I don't have any other options. But um, yeah, so uh, before I buy anything else because like you saw, my car is freaking filled up. I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm hungry. I didn't find any coffee shops. So the lady who made the rings and then that really cool orange fiery flame did I say earrings? Yeah, yeah. Well, she made the earrings and the rings. I bought both from her. She also has an Airbnb here in Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is made out of a shipping container, which is so cool. Um, I remember like when I was in New Zealand, there was, there's a part of New Zealand that it's like a shopping mall made out of shipping containers. I don't know. I, just, I like it. I think it's cute. Um, she said Beyonce stayed there before. I don't know if that's true or not, but if that is true, that's pretty dope. Those are the Oregon Mountains. I visited there for like an afternoon, but I didn't really go in because I wasn't wearing the proper gear. Oh my gosh, I never would have imagined that New Mexico had mountains on mountains, a sea of mountains. <laughs> okay, let's go. So this morning I was in Las Cruces, somewhere over here, and then, um, what is it? Truth or consequences? Got to be like over there, off of it. And then I drove. Well, that's White Sands National Monument. I drove over here so far. And then later on, I'm gonna drive that way. right here. I'm gonna drive that way to Cloudcroft. That's where I'm staying at tonight. And then Carl's Bad Caverns is over there. These guys, it collects the water and it goes. <laughs> I don't know. I got my sled for white sand dune sledding and I have my sled wax in my hand over here. is getting bright and it's reflecting off the white sand. I cannot tell whether these pictures are gonna turn out good or not because I can't see, it's too bright. Let's... Oh. Hey. So when I went was in Las Cruces and doing the bike tour, the guide, he has been living in New Mexico for 10 years. I don't know where he moved from though. Anyways, he says that uh, him and his wife have an Airbnb. Uh, Las Cruces is a great place to stay if you wanna just like come and visit for a weekend. It's only like 45 minutes away. And they put a bucket out for visitors who do come to White Sands. They can dump all the sand. His family comes and visits White Sands like once a month. So they'll bring back buckets of gypsum sand for them. Like, here you go. Here it is again. <laughs> oh, wow. The mountain range though, snaps. He also said, you will find sand in cracks you didn't even know existed. So let's see if that actually happens. The car's right there, we're gonna run. It feels so nice. Oh, I love it. Is this too steep? Never. Woo. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. 
Hi yo. Oi. Let's shake it out. I have so much sand in here. Alright, I think I'm gonna do my first sled over there. Past where the kid is. Tips for good sledding. So let's let's read it first. Uh, pick a steep dune, which is all the way back there, but we're gonna start with Wax your sled every couple of times. Make a trail, then keep going down the same trail for extra speed. And then keep your legs straight out and lean back. It usually works better than sitting cross-legged. So. Woo! Alright. Okay. Is this steep? I don't think it's considered steep enough. <laughs> Oh, and as you go deeper, it gets colder. Oh, that feels so good. A steeper hill okay I, I shouldn't have been that worried it's getting really hot so if you ever come like this morning was chilly and windy but it's getting hot gotta hydrate stay not hungry oh. gotta put on sunscreen because that sun is bright Oh, I put it over the sand. That's dumb. I did run out of time. Face with your advice to get back in mind. I think this is the one that I want to try right now. Hopefully it's better. Oh, that's so amazing. It's over there. Oh, no, 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 Seriously, this is for like me lounging on a sand dune and sledding. I'm doing everything the thing tells me to. Oops. Don't get your hopes up. Oh! It's like a sand waterfall. A sand fall. Whew. So the trick is, like you don't start at the top, because if you see over there, there's, it's not as steep. Okay, this is the steepest hill I have found so far. It's freaking fun, but it's really, really steep. You want to try to find trails? that um, other people have created or you create. But as you probably saw from before, it takes a long time to create a really good trail. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try not to drop you. Woo! Oh, don't open your mouth. Uh, how does my makeup look right now? <laughs> Last one for the day, and then let's go to the hostel. I'm getting tired. What's the fastest way to get down a hill? Slide down it. This one is unpaved though, so we'll see how fast I go. Ready? Okay. 
Can I nap here? <laughs>